Hello friends, welcome to the Azure DevOps tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will see what is the difference between Git and TFVC or we can say like what is the difference between distributed versus centralized version control in Azure DevOps. So in the previous tutorial, we have seen like what is the repository and the version control. So before proceeding with this tutorial, I recommend you please watch part 25 of this tutorial series to understand more about this tutorial so let's see like what is the git versus tfvc so tfvc is basically a team foundation version control or we can say it is a centralized version control so let's understand first like what is the centralized version control so in the given picture you can see like we have a one repository and in this repository like suppose there is a one developer who is working uh, on some code or some project and what he do whatever the like first time the developer came and first time what he do he clone that particular repository or uh, he take that code into the local system and he start working on that and if he make any changes to that code he pushes those code into directly into the repository now tomorrow any another developer came for the same project he also do the repository clone and take the code so that's it that that is fine but like what happened like both the developer is working on the same file then what they do they both directly push that code into this repository so sometime there is a merge issue if both the developer make changes into the different line then by itself this tfvc take care of those merge merges but if both the developer have made the changes into the single line then there is a, a little problem while making the merging issue like taking care of that merging issue like sometime what happen like tfvc or tfs decline those changes and we have to like undo um, the changes of one developer and they have to do everything manually so it gives the problem because here directly developer is talking to the repository there is nothing in midway so it gives the like that problem and that's why it is a centralized version control because this repository is centralized to all the developer because all the developer is uh, like changing the code and directly pushing that code into the centralized repository so tfvc is a centralized version control is it it is basically taking care or tracking the changes of the de developer directly so to get rid of this problem like git works as a distributed version control like to re resolve the centralized version control the distributed version control came so git is basically working in that way so in the git what happened instead of directly calling like developer when developer working on one project so instead of directly mm, pushing that code into the repository what happened here like when the developer uh, clone that particular repository so they clone into the local uh, repository and developer start working with that local repo instead of that main branch or main repository so how this uh, git work basically like suppose this is my main repository and uh, like one developer came to uh, that organization and start working on the one project so what he do he clone that particular repository into the local and develop when developer start working on this so what happened that particular branch the developer start on the particular branch and they check in the code or pushing the code into that local repository and at final the local repository they push into the main branch or main repository instead of the like uh, like uh, in the like in the centralized version control what happened like whatever the changes they were doing they directly pushing into the main repository so here in the distributed version control in between the developer and the main repository there is a local repository so everything happened through this local repository 
suppose this developer one is worked on one file and make some changes to this local repository and like in the developer two is also working on the same file and like making changes and push the code into the local repository so what happened at final these local repository is basically a different branches for both the developer so instead of code changes this branches merge to the main repository and this main repository taken care of those changes basically like uh, to uh, merging those changes it is very helpful and even like in in the branch way it is very helpful for the developer what developer can do like suppose they have worked on the one changes now uh, another priority issue came so what they can do they can create a different branch for that project and they can keep that um, branch aside means that code will not go away because the changes will be on the uh, local only those will not go they no need to do undo and they can uh, work on that priority issue they can create that branch respective branch and they can merge like push the code into that local branch and they can push that local branch to the repository and the previous task they were working the branch will be in local it will not be into the repository so it that way it works very helpful for the developer to manage the code that's why it is called distributed version control because this version control is basically a distributed for all the developer to tracking the changes even it is very helpful like suppose any developer made the changes and push the changes into the main repository now while the deployment any issue is come coming through uh, particular code so they can identify they can track it properly like who made the changes to that like through branch they can make it and they can like uh, undo that respective branch so that respective code will only change so in that way is also very helpful to manage it so in that way like uh, this centralized version control and distributed version control works now next thing like what is the common in between these two so basically both are the version control system it both are used to manage the like uh, code and the next thing is like even we can see the history for the code changes done by the developer and both are used to merge the code into the repository so that we have seen and both basically provide the branching system also like uh, branching in the sense like as i explained in a bit before like uh, they can make the uh, code changes using the branch and like uh, both the developer like every developer in both the version control they can like uh, one developer can also work and full team can also work with the uh, tfvc and the git so these are the some common things between these two so basically that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you